Welcome, lovely to see everybody. I just thought I'd do a very short floor exercise today where we're going to just um, open the sides, the front, the back of the body, expand so there'll be a tiny bit of standing at the end, but it starts on the floor, which is always great. So if you're happy on your knees, I want you just to get down into your sort of hunch position here, and it's called child's pose. So if your knees can cope, if they can't, just go down with your hands to a place where there's no tension. If you can get yourself sort of belly on your thighs, if you haven't been eating too much, yeah, belly on your thighs, and your forehead maybe on the floor, and I'm trying my best to get my heels on the bum here, which I'm forcing down a little bit at the moment, and maybe the hands relaxed and open. Now this opens the, you know, the facet joints in the back here, so it feels really releasing on the, on the back of the neck. You stay here as long as you need to do, and then you're going to try and think about extending forward with the sternum and you're going to bring your body weight up in towards the sun. Now we're going to part them clouds a little bit and as I exhale I want you to turn either left or right so your hips stay forward so you're going to rotate fully, remember that snow globe, side, back, up and then we do the other side so you exhale as you come down Inhale as you come up. And you do that once more. So if you feel your hips will go backwards, so you're going back into this little child pose down here. Tickle the floor for a moment, soften the knee. And then when you're ready, you come back up. We do that one more time, providing you're not in pain with the knees. We're looking the opposite way first. Press through the palms. Imagine you're actually coming through something thick, it's not just air now, you're actually using the muscles in the shoulders and you're turning, really push through and then put the hands on the earth and see how the wrists feel here, you remember your creases point forwards and we go straight into a cat in the cow, now if you roll your toes under you can feel it from the feet to the hands then, you can connect to the whole back line here. I stretch and then I take the tailbone the other way and I feel the front of the body lengthen and that's my out breath as I look down I'm gently pressing my toes under my neck is long and as I breathe in tilting the pelvis the other way and you do that as many times as you're happy and you might then decide as you go into that like a forward position you roll your toes under more you Feel the brace in the abs and you're lift, lifting your knees up off the earth into down facing dog. Now you can stay there or I'm just warming up into it. I'm going to go into my cow which is an extension and then into my flexion down facing dog. So I'm going between both. Now that's my choice. If you prefer just to stay in your down dog or stay in your cat and your cow you choose. So I'm contracting underneath me and then raising the knees and the hips. Now eventually you get to the point where you might just want to hang around in your down facing dog with pleasure. Fingertips might be able to lift off the ground, you might be able to have a little waggle in your pelvis, relax your neck. You might find this is quite a strange sensation, it might be something you do a lot. I'm going to take a time to go rotation into this Ready the needle for a few moments. Exhale. And this is my in breath. I reach up, open the heart centre. And this is my out breath as I come underneath. And I hold it for a few moments and feel like you're just melting into the earth a little bit. You can have a wiggle, let your shoulders release, and you're coming out of it. Now, this is all dependent on your wrists as well. So I'm going to go into the threading the needle again on the other side. So reach towards the opposite direction. Let your ear feel the earth. Let yourself have a wiggle. Let your hands soften. On the in breath here, you can still hear me. And one smart exhale down. And release back for a moment yeah now i'm going to roll my toes off 
one foot forward. Now if that is too much to step to, to bring, bring the leg forward, see how it feels if you take the leg to the back and round the side and then walk it in here. That might be easier. Whichever leg you've come forward with, notice that because we might just step back in the other leg in a moment. Yeah, so step up, take a breath in here, hips are forwards, stand up for a moment. Bring it down again. That leg that I just stepped with is going back the way I came. Yeah, knee down. Relax for a second. Go back into your child pose. Let yourself chill for a second. A few moments here. We'll do this once. Breathing in. Exhale. Inhale. Rotate the other way. and down if you wish you can do that again if you prefer that move the cats and the cow we develop this into a nice moving cat moving cow so i'm taking my extension into flexion i could stay up there i could move it and as many times as you want in that position, walking on the spot, waggling your bum, let yourself go underneath and remember to come the other way, breathing in here and we'll switch sides and we're doing it once remember, reaching up underneath And the finale is different leg, different leg, forward. If it won't go, remember that little trick where you take it out to the side, bring on your furniture, <laughs> <laughs> and then you roll in yourself forwards, breathing in. And you've got to your feet, hopefully, and a lot of energy. So any, any of them movements, any of them movements you can make, more or less, but definitely getting your four points fabulous for your back muscles and that's what we need more than ever thank you for joining me look after yourselves <laughs>